Well, people, it's happened. A Tribe Called Quest album. After Five's death, you know, it was... It was talked about for a while that people need to get together and do something for Fife, you know, Tribe. But what they did know is Tribe was working on an album. And what they did is they kept it quiet. You see, what Tribe does best is work when there's no one pressuring them to work. That's when you get your best projects. Now, because this album is like basically a throwback to the 90s era when they brought the creativity to a whole new height back when everyone was being creative it was it wasn't like something super special at its time but the music was so great collectively it made an impact on other groups to come forward because they were able to sustain where other groups were one album Two albums, second album, they're out the door with their creativity. Whether it was Jungle Brothers, Black Sheep, all these other groups that came along during that time, Tri Tribe was able to sustain. So with this album here, you know, this turned into a a whole new realm. A lot of people didn't like the Love Love Movement album, and it's been like 18 years since they made another, and now you can go back and still appreciate the art of it because this goes back to it's like sounding unmixed sound like it was just done in a basement none of these songs were leaked because they recorded them in one location and that's when it's very hard to find music that's leaked when you start sending stuff to people that's how music and songs and things get leaked when you're sending them for guest appearances and all this People came in, dropped a thing, and, you know, Shahid and all these guys, they did it the right way. So when the album came out, people were shocked. A Tribe Called Quest album is out. Boom! So immediately that was going to go to number one before they even listened to it. Because Tribe are, is in an era where people are now in their 30s. And this is the era they love. So now that they group is back, you know, they these are the people that got jobs that buy music. So for them to buy a Tribe Called Quest album, for a woman to buy a Tribe Called Quest album, is nothing. Sorry. Allergies getting the best of me. So... The way the album start off, you know, it's it's kind of a sameness to it. They have some tracks with Fife on there, and Fife is amazing on the songs that he's on. And you know, they have uh, other people to come in and do cameos that just blew everybody out the water. Like three thousand killed it, and then Buster came in. You know, you got Consequence. And Jerobi's on there. It felt like everybody who was a part of Tribe was involved in this project. And that's the way it should be. If this is the last Tribe album, they could bow their heads with this one. Because it's a classic album. <laughs> no doubt about it. It's a classic album. Now... Do I read some songs that I felt that they had probably missed the mark? Of course. But they didn't miss the mark by much. As I go back and look at this, I'm like, they didn't really miss the mark by a lot. A lot of people like enough. It was okay for me. We the people I really didn't vibe with. But whatever will be is a banger. Kids. <laughs> You know, this government, I mean, this generation, Mobius, the Donald, Ego. I mean, come on. You got, that's that's an album right there. Moving backwards? Are you kidding? 
you see, this is the era I come from. This is the era I respect. This is the type of music I love. And Buster coming in, doing what he did. This is some of, everybody brought, like, what, what it's like their best work. Some of the best work we've seen 3000 have in a minute. Because he just basically dropped a verse and out. Best stuff Buster's done. Best stuff Q-Tip's done. So, I, I like it that everybody brought their best. And it's definitely four out of four. And for me, I got to say, I'm impressed. I feel a little humbled at the fact that, like, wow, people really get it. You know, people understand Tribe Called Quest. And I didn't expect a lot of young people to vibe with it. But the young people are so intrigued because we we are excited about it. They're like, man, they like this album. <laughs> we got to listen to it and see what's up with it. So a lot of young people have gotten involved in this. And I've started seeing chat rooms, discussions about the Tribe Called Quest album, Tribe This, Tribe That, you know. Shahid just is a genius. And all the work he's done has just been remarkable. So, I mean, I've got to tip my hat to him because I didn't think they could pull this off and they pulled it off and it was better than the love love and beats and rhymes to me this album is probably I would say their third best project I will put it over the first the first album but the beats and rhymes album I would say this is this would be their third best album if I was to rate the tribe out so boy Carcino telling you go get this album, go cop it, enjoy it, and play it and thousand and one times. <laughs> Cause um, I'm still playing the tribe album, I'm still playing Lloyd Banks Halloween Habit. Um uh, 